The University of Minnesota was uh, experiencing a tremendous amount of growth and they had a, a significant need for additional heat to serve the campus. Jacobs was selected by the University of Minnesota to design a 23 megawatt combined heat and power facility for the Minneapolis campus. We basically took a heating plant that was built in 1914. We have rehabilitated and modernized it to install a new clean and sustainable a set of combined heat and power equipment that will provide energy for the campus. The old main facility was important because from a location standpoint it was strategic. It allowed us to connect a new source of heat to the existing distribution on the campus and really provide a reliable infrastructure to serve the campus. Old main being an abandoned power plant that had been shut down for uh, years uh, had been had fallen into a state of disrepair and just getting into that space and realizing how we can revitalize that space and repurpose it for an active uh, combined heat and power plant uh, was a definite challenge. And then you try to go into a space that again that has you know, mercury and lead and asbestos and other hazardous materials and no lights. Uh, it's very difficult to take an inventory of what you need to do and how to capture that uh, early in the project. So through the use of LIDAR scanning and, and other you know, advanced technology, we were able to capture a, a virtual image of the existing conditions and then use that for selective demolition planning. Our design team really rolled up their sleeves. One of the, one of the things that our entire Energy and Power Group really takes pride in is solving complex challenges and complex problems. So when Jacobs competed for this project, there was a notion that the, that the size of the combined heat and power equipment would be around 15 megawatts total um, but Jacobs was given the opportunity to do what we call a right sizing analysis where we do a very high resolution uh, hourly analysis throughout a complete year looking at what configuration of equipment available on the open market would be best suited to that particular campus's needs. In this case, we were able to determine that increasing the amount of combined heat and power equipment would save an additional $98 million over the life of the plant in and saved cost on utilities. It was a really great working environment between Jacobs, the University of Minnesota's energy management team, as well as Adolph Sen and Peterson, and all our sub-consultants as well. Um, everyone was really on the same page, had a great um, rapport working with each other. We really forged a lot of relationships and took a lot of joint ownership in making sure that the project was a success and without that spirit of collaboration and teamwork I don't believe we would have been as successful as we were. This project really accomplished some very lofty goals for the University of Minnesota. We have not only reduced their greenhouse gas emissions on an annual basis by over 32,000 metric tons a year, We've also improved air quality. We're, we're going to be saving them up to $8 million a year in the cost of natural gas and electricity. And we've taken a facility that was a bit of a dilemma, uh, the retired power plant that needed to be abated and cleaned up, and we've turned it into a home for a sustainable future. I'm very proud of my involvement in this project. This is going to be something that benefits the entire Minneapolis community for many, many years to come. And so just knowing that I had a part to play in bringing that to life is very rewarding. This plan is no longer a glimpse of the University of Minnesota's past. It's now a glimpse into a more sustainable future for them. And I feel so honored to have been part of that. So 10 years from now, this project's still going to have a tremendous amount of relevance for me personally, for our team, for the university. It's such a high profile landmark project. We're leveraging it to, to future opportunities and, and working with other clients and sharing this story uh, with other clients. And that's, that's what this is all about, is, is sharing good news and, and, and trying to find a way to, to help other people have success stories just like it.